how things started that's the first question first of all scientists came to know that human bodies can generate electric current and how did they come to know about it when they invented a device with the name of galvanometer or voltmeter so when they were placing that voltmeter over the human bodies what they found they found that that voltmeter when they were placing it on the dead bodies was showing no deflection but as they were placing on an alive person so it was showing deflection so what was the interpretation that human body has got that ability to generate electric current and the important inference came from a one one point that when they were placing that electrode on different body parts there was difference in strength of that that deflection that ultimately led to the formation of ecg as they were placing it near to the heart deflection was more as they were away from the heart deflection was less so they came to know that it is the heart which has got intrinsic ability to generate electric current and then the next thing they saw that when they were placing those electrodes close to the left chambers of the heart the deflection was more and when they were placing those electrodes towards the right chambers that deflection wasn't that much again what was the inference hypothesis un cheezon ko jo take up kiya unhone kaise kiya so they they basically develop an understanding that there must be something some difference between the right chambers and the left chambers and the biggest difference is the muscle mass the left chambers have got a significant muscle mass much more muscle mass in comparison with the left side so that was another inference the hypotheses are the uh, big things those ideas which ultimately help you lately aur yahi asal kamal hota hai kisi bande ka ki wo they generate hypotheses aur uski basis pe they ultimately reach to certain conclusions ab just uh, to give an example say if instead of newton somebody among you would have been underneath that tree where a uh, where an apple fall and ultimately that led to the law of gravity so if unluckily uh, these two friends or these two friends would have been there instead of newton underneath that tree so what they would have done they would have ate the apple and you could never have reached to that law of gravity and even if the other person would have been asking that this apple is falling down try to think try to just uh, uh, we need to understand that fact that why it is falling down probably the other friend would have been uh, like asking him give me the other apple as well so just forget what is happening here and focus on one thing that we have got something to eat i mean this led to law of gravity so hypothesis is the key thing ecg mein yahi kuch hua initially unhone ye jo hypothesis banaye ye base bane buniyad bane lately is ecg ki aur aapko abhi samajh aayegi as i'll be like uh, discussing with you uh, about the basics of that ecg you will come to know that how they made things so easy for later understanding jiski basis pe fir baad mein hum sari aage ecg ki interpretation kar pate hain so yahan se aawaz hota hai ji so the electric current is being dissipated from the heart chambers and dissipating to the whole body what next now how we can interpret that electric current hypothesis was there now it was the time to develop some understanding related to this dissipation of the electric current how things started they decided to uh, they decided to form a certain thing which can read these electric currents and ultimately give them the shape of something which is easily understandable uh, by a person who is reading those things for that purpose they made an ecg machine so what an ecg machine is in ecg machine there are certain electrodes electrodes are good conductor of electricity so what they did just based on that analogy of uh, a voltmeter they placed electrodes on human body human body as such is a good conductor of electricity so 
as the current was dissipating from the human body, they placed electrodes. Electrodes uh, were made up of copper and copper is a very good conductor of electricity. Those electrodes take that current, that current ultimately reach to that ECG machine and what it leads to? It leads to deflection in a, in a fine instrument that moves on that paper which is known as ECG paper. We call that fine instrument a fine thing that moves stylus. This stylus moves on paper, paper keeps on moving and stylus keeps on moving like that depending on the strength of that current. And we basically uh, read whatever is there on that paper and that ultimately helps us, guides us that what is happening inside the chambers of the heart. So if there is dissipation of current, now we come to that basics which we need to understand. If there is dissipation of current from that uh, heart, in which direction it is being dissipated? In all directions, it is as simple as that because whole human body is a good conductor of electricity. So if it is dissipating in heart directions, I just make this diagram here. This is left atria, LA, this is RA, right atria, then this is LV and this is RV, this is our heart. If current is being dissipated in all directions, I have to make 360 degree circle. It means it is dissipating from heart in all the directions. If I just uh, number these degrees on that circle, we start things from that point. This is 0 degree. I just move ahead and this is almost 60 degree. Here it will be 90 degree. We move ahead 120 degree. Then we move here it is 180 degree. And then as we move away, it's all positive here. It's basically a 360 degree circle. As we move away, so this becomes negative. This is negative 150 degree. This is negative 90 degree. So as we move away, we just uh, write negative in front of it. And then minus uh, 90 degree here, it's minus 30 degree. I'll lately tell you what's the importance of these exact degrees. The current is being dissipated from the heart, going in all the directions. I have made a circle which is uh, showing you that in 360 degrees that current is being distributed. Now we want to know in certain directions, if that current is going in certain particular directions, and we want to know the underlying reasoning. For this purpose, we were in need of a thing known as lead. So that was the first thing which was done to interpret the dissipation of electric current. If somebody asks you a question, what is lead, what it is? Lead is, in simplest four words, the definition of lead is, it's electrical picture of heart, as simple as that. Lead is electrical picture of heart. In easy Urdu, if I guide you, to dil ke andar hone wali tabdiliyon ko lakiron ki shakal mein bayan kar dene ka naam lead hai. So it's an easy interpretation. Lead is basically an electrical picture of heart. So first of all, they decided where to place the electrodes. They decided let's focus on limb leads first. We will be placing these electrodes on limbs. So that's why they are known as limb leads. And after these three limb leads, then we'll move ahead. So the first three things were these three leads and they will be giving us picture of dissipation of current in certain particular directions. Lead one will be telling us about current dissipation in that direction. Lead two will be telling us about current dissipation in that direction. And lead three will be telling us about current dissipation in that direction. 
Now, how these leads will be formed? That was the question. Here in Thoban came and he told us that how you can make these leads, how you can interpret these leads. For one lead formation, how many electrodes you need and where you are supposed to place these electrodes. Now, this will clearly guide you that how that ECG came into being and what are the basics behind that lead formation. You just recall the Inthoven triangle. You must have gone through Inthoven's triangle in your physiology classes. This is chest wall, human body's chest. This is again heart lying here. This is uh, left atria, right atria. This is uh, LV and this is RV. He said that draw that triangle like that. There is Inthoven's triangle. So this Inthoven triangle is having its apex downward, base upward. Uh, this is the right shoulder. Take it as right shoulder and consider it left shoulder. I am standing like that. This is my right shoulder. This is my left shoulder. Here there is heart and there is triangle like that. Now how this triangle is going to help us? As per rules of physics, the electrical current flow from negative to positive pole. What leads we are making here? These leads were named as bipolar limb leads. Why they were named as bipolar? So because they have got two poles, one pole is negative pole and the other pole is positive pole. So how to proceed ahead? For uh, to understand the dissipation of current in 0 degree, just follow that exact line. This is again the same thing. This is 0 degree, lead 1. Then see this, how this thing is moving. Exactly that line is lead 3, 120 degree. So if we draw it here, this is one three, uh, 120 degree, direction is this one. And then now follow this line. This is exactly this line. So lead 2 is at 60 degree. We wanted to learn about dissipation of current in this particular direction. For these, uh, for that current to be learned, where we are supposed to place the electrodes? This is the next question. So Inthoven told us that as electric current flows from negative pole to positive pole, so what you are supposed to do? Place electrodes and you guys know that these electrodes will be placed on limbs. Already uh, the lead, uh, as we have made the leads, we have clearly uh, told you earlier that these are bipolar, bipolar limb leads. So you place your, one of the electrode is placed on right arm, the other electrode is placed on left arm, then the third one is placed on left foot and finally you place the it is known as neutral. Neutral electrode is placed on the right lower limb. So these are the four electrodes which we place on human beings. Whenever you do the ECG, you guys must be knowing that this is what you do uh, while interpreted, interpreting this, uh, while uh, performing that ECG. See what is happening here. I have placed one of the electrode, the negative one, where? On my right shoulder. If you place it here and a person say is not, uh, is having amputated arm, you will place it here. And if it is amputated to this level, you will place it here. So either placing at the right shoulder or placing at this place is one of the same thing. So it's on the right shoulder, it's one and the same thing. So one electrode is placed here and its positive pole is placed here. And what it makes? It makes lead number one. Just see the flow of the current. This is how the current is flowing. This is how the current is flowing, right? So negative pole, this is positive pole. I am placing one of the electrode on right shoulder, the other electrode on the left shoulder. I am understanding the dissipation of flow of current in that direction and this makes lead number one. So if anybody asks you how that lead one is made, you can clearly tell them it is bipolar limb lead 
there are two poles one is negative pole one is positive pole and he, these poles are placed on these particular areas and this is how lead 1 is made then we come towards lead uh, number 2 so this is lead number 2 what is the direction of that lead number 2 this is the direction just after understanding that direction you will come to know where will be the negative electrode and where will be the positive electrode so negative electrode is your right shoulder go like that and the left foot left foot is positive electrode so negative electrode right shoulder positive electrode left foot this make lead two now just change it to like that now i am changing my direction now my left shoulder is the negative pole and right foot is the positive but right foot because it is neutral so we will be using left foot as positive pole in bipolar limb leads you always need two poles now you might be having some confusion that initially that left shoulder was used as a positive pole and while making drawing that lead number uh, 3 it is being used as a, a negative pole initially was positive now it turns actually this electrode which are placed on these shoulders or anywhere in the body they are always having two wires one is negative and one is positive so in while uh, placing that electrode here you were using that electrodes positive wire the other electrode is here it has got two wires once you were using it as negative pole and once you were using it as positive pole so each electrode has got two wires actually both the negative and positive poles are there but once you use the negative one and once you use the positive one so that's how these three different leads are made and now the real question arises and everything else which you have uh, uh, listened to up till now will tell you the exact story behind these leads what was the benefit of this whole exercise which we have done till now we wanted to see changes happening inside the heart for that we made this whole uh, picture this 360 degree things then we placed different electrodes then we said that these are the different leads which are which we are placing on that person so what ultimately we get out of it with one single uh, thing in your mind the whole picture will be clear to you and that single thing which should always be in your mind is lead is basically a camera so basically we have placed cameras we have placed three cameras on human being on human body how we have placed these three cameras and how they are going to help us now just see where we have placed the camera so our first camera is here consider this lead equivalent to camera this is camera three this is camera two and this is camera one now a simplest thing about that camera is camera c whatever is in front of it so i am placing one of the lead here zero degree that camera is placed here seeing towards me which side of the heart it will be seeing lateral wall, lateral wall. 